Yo, what's going on, YouTube? YouTube family, you got your boy here, Quill, J. Quill, All Talk Live. We got another reaction video coming to you. I know y'all all seen this video already, but a lot of people keep hitting me up, wanting me to do a little reaction on it. Here you go. This is your boy, Hassan Campbell, looking about as crazy as hell. Fourth of July, drunk out his mind, still drinking. I be drinking. All that old extra shit. He about to get real extra on this. Very disrespectful to him, his boys, even his girl. But it's going to be one part of this when his girl going to say she pinned him down. Now I see why he's so angry with, with <laughs> black women. Because he got a woman at home that be getting busy putting no paws on his ass. He going to say it. She going to say it. I be pin, I pinned you down. Check it out. Come on now. Hope his mother don't die. You know how many times he said that shit? And that suicide shit? How many times he say this? That last time was when his mother signed over her power of attorney to his brother. That's when he started drinking. And that's when he accused his brother of being the first person to molest him. Not Ben Bottom. Not his uncle walking around with his penis out, he's screaming for his mother. Not the so-called mysterious female that was babysitting him that molested him. But he put his brother on blast the last time he got drunk. Started talking about his mother. Calling his mother all types of names because his mother signed over her power, power of attorney to his other brother. That's when he put him on blast say he was the first one to molest him. You remember? You remember? You did it. Now you see, you see, anybody that cash at me, I need guns around me. This the same fool that keep telling y'all he wants y'all to help pay for the war. Thanks for the donation. Thanks for paying for the war. What war? He want illegal guns around him. Legal guns. So y'all could do the shooting and he could get back on here and talk about how how many black people got killed. How many murders was killed in New York. You see what I'm saying? This boy be scamming. That's why I called his ass Bernie Madoff. So he wants y'all to create him more content. He need more something to talk about. He need more content. So he wants y'all to come around him with legal guns so y'all can go shoot up the damn place so he can get back on, on YouTube and see how many people got shot. See, y'all got to open up y'all mind. He playing them Jedi mind tricks on y'all. Open up y'all mind. That's what he doing. First, y'all think I'm gonna sit up here. They gotta fight for my people. I need a million guns around me, legal guns. Legal, 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 legal. Now, he just said he fight for his people. When do y'all when do ever see him get in the streets and throw them hands up? Or get in the streets and get a blowhorn and start talking on the microphone? Oh, yeah, he's, he's screaming about people talking about, yeah, we outside, we outside. When you was out there, and that black lady was speaking on her child being killed in those, in those streets. What do you say, poppy poopy pants? You said we outside. Y'all said I don't never come outside, but we outside. You was saying that, but you screaming that they saying it. But watch the video. He starts screaming, "We outside. I'm outside." And they got the idiot on the side of him saying, "Yeah, we outside. Where they at? What?" YouTube don't put illegal on the title. Legal guns. Anybody that cash at me, I just want more guns. Cause we at war. I ain't playing. I'm not like, like, damn, how the fuck am I gonna fight for our people when I gotta fight these sucker niggas? You can't win like that. You at war with who? I got and Sugar Ray? See, the only time you at war 
When you putting your own friends on blast. When you throwing your own boys under the bus. The middle age chubby guy for y'all who don't know our guy. Go to the video. It's always the chubby guy in all red. Then you got Sugar Ray. How Sugar Ray is a one hit a quitter. How Sugar Ray was talking about tying some dude up in a tree in Bronx River. And leaving him. He's the same two guys that's supposed to be the illest killers in Bronx River. Now he's throwing them under the bus. You gotta fight these niggas. You gotta fight these bitches. You gotta fight these bastards. Like, how the fuck you gonna win? Wait till my mama go. Wait till his mama go. I can finish. See, the thing is this his mama already signed over her power of, of attorney to his other brother so if his mother died today he ain't going no damn where because he don't get shit whatever his mother got left behind because he said he lived in the projects all his life so how much his mother really got to give him she ain't about to get his man shit this man ain't gonna make suicide he ain't doing nothing like that don't let this man fool y'all to all Hassan subscribers the 205 he got on one channel and the 50 he got on the other channel. This man ain't going no damn well. Now he calling Sugar Ray a faggot. Sugar Ray supposed to be the one hit a quitter. Sugar Ray supposed to be knocking niggas the fuck out in Bronx River. Sitting right next to our guy with the all red on. But these is niggas though. The same niggas that hand him a plaque. He took that plaque and ran with it. Star gave him a plaque. This is why I keep saying. Star next. He coming at the star. Star gave him a plaque too. For being the most courageous. Hip hop influence. Come on, man. You gotta talk to me about what I thought. More industry shit. I don't wanna be in the industry. I'm never gonna suck an industry dick. I'm never going to throw up they started signs. You're never going to suck an industry dick, Pauls. But what the fuck was you doing with Bambada? <laughs> what was you doing with Bambada? Look at his face. Look at his face. What was he doing with Bambada if he ain't sucking no industry dick? Come on, bro. You should have said, I ain't never sucking no industry dick again. But that's what you've been doing. Pause, but that's what you've been doing. Come on, bro. It's another reaction video. I want to say shout out to that brother P Block for putting this up here. Because somebody kept telling me about this video, but I couldn't find it. I have been stroll across this at night and it popped up on here. Shit back on camera. I will fucking come to your house oh. and shoot you on camera, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. You too, but I got a gun. I he always say that clown shit. He gonna push your way back on camera. He gonna come to your house. See, this the bullshit right here. You can't tell him shit. His mouth is loose like water. You can't tell him shit. Cause when he get drunk, he gonna put you on blast. He throwing everybody under the bus. But this the guy right here that gets busy. Ain't them the same three guys was sitting on that dirty ass porch talking about we don't back down well? Well, I guess he backing them down. They did something to him for him to get drunk and back down. Now he running his damn mouth. One fucking word. Go to Atlanta, nigga. I dare you, Smith. I dare you. Y'all niggas think because I love I'm soft. You think because I love that I'm soft. I don't want to be a snake and push your shit back in the backseat of your fucking car. 
I would never do that to you. I tell you face to face, I'm telling the whole world, you're a fucking faggot. You see this shit? You see this shit? See, Hassan subscribers, he got a lot of people like him. Oh, there's a lot of people when his just that subscribe to him it's just like this. They love this shit. He entertained as hell. Funny ass guy. But they loving it. They love the tough guy shit. Cause see a lot of them, like he do, play behind the computer. And talk that old grimy shit. I'm not buying it though. I ain't buying none of this bullshit. See what he do when he love to talk that grimy shit. He loved to throw in his dirty shirt, his dirty do-rag, with a matching hat, and get on here and tough that talk, that tough talk. I ain't buying it. I ain't buying this shit. You know why I ain't buying it? Because towards the end of this video, when his own girl says she be pinning his ass down on the floor, and his reaction, he be getting his ass whooped at home. See, there's a lot of you men out there like that. See, a lot of, I know there's a lot of married men and a lot of men who live home with their girl. And their girl is a beast. Them be the same dudes that pull up in the driveway, don't want to go in the house. The same dude that get off the bus and smoke a cigarette before they walk in the house. See, they talk that tough talk to you. But when they walk in that house, they quiet as a mouse. Cause they girl be beating that ass. Used to be my dog, you was in my left titty. Jada Kiss. about to die. Found out you a bitch, you can't even rob me. Now it's a war, you ain't on the side. Jada Kiss. You sit up there, sit in your fucking mix. Yonkers. St. The Bronx. Yonkers. Jada Kiss, boo. You making us stay up the house in Atlanta. Why the bin is all out there. Nasty prostitution bitches. He put an I God Ben is all out there. He could have called I God on the phone. He could have called Sugar Ray on the phone. But see the shit he don't do when he get drunk. And then he gonna come back later on and start crying about how he apologized. He should have called him up. See this the bull. This the this the bullshit he do. This is what he do. This is exactly what he do. Hurting you, you want to take advantage of her. <laughs> and Levy laughing in the background. You heard Levy in the background? She a prostitute. She instigating this shit. See, the more she can instigate him and keep pushing his buttons in the background, because you notice on the other video, when he started calling her out, she was already on live. Editing shit. She's in the comment section working it for him. See, she be egging this, she be pushing this on for this boy to keep running his mouth. She's in the background. And check it out. She telling him to come eat his breakfast, but he's sitting up here drinking early. This man, an alcoholic, allegedly, he an alcoholic. He's drinking early. She's in the background saying, come eat your breakfast, and he's sitting there drinking, running his mouth. But this the big YouTuber that's leading the people. This the big YouTuber that talk about death, rappers death after death after death on his channel because he the only one that's talking about it. Yeah, he the only one talking and drinking. I be drinking. I be drinking. Yeah, he drinking right now and running his damn mouth. But this the big YouTube leader. Put a nigga behind the seat, back seat behind you. When I went to your club to kill you that night, dry snitching to his finest. And them three niggas got shot and we all went to the hospital. After the situation, I told you I was there to kill you. And I told you why. Because I'm not a snake. Why the fuck would I put somebody in the back seat when I'm going to sit up there and deal with a kid that was murdered? You fake ass nigga. Why are you still dealing with me? Why? This the same dude that said the illest killers. You know where he got that shit from? The movie Belly. Is you the illest?
illest, if you the illest killers in Nebraska, Method Man. That's where he got that from. The illest killers in Bronx River. Push your wig back. He got that illest killer from Method Man from the movie Belly. Go check out Belly. When he when Method Man be in the middle of the street talking to the dudes down south, the dude eating a banana. Check it out. That's where he get his work. That's where he get his sayings from. He watch a lot of damn movies, but y'all don't catch it. So everybody that know when I got shot the second time I went to jail for shooting them three niggas, I went there, I went to jail because I was actually going there for, for Trump, bitch ass. His brother, they was brothers, they both were snakes. And I got caught in the middle, in the middle of they shit. And I went to fucking kill Agard because I, 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 Trump told me some fucked up shit about Agard in my life. And I believed it. And afterwards I told Agard after the niggas got shot and I was in the hospital coughing up blood, nigga. They think this is just YouTube. Nigga, you know. I'll push your... I'm going to go a little bit to the left right here. I'm going to go back a little to the left. Now, watch the interview with, with Sonetta when he said he was sitting in the house and he was, he, was, he was sitting in the house. American Most Wanted came on. He was blasted all over the screen. American Most Wanted. And he was afraid to go outside. He said that. He said he was sitting home and American Most Wanted came on the television and they had him blasted all over the American Most Wanted for shooting three dudes. Now, now I may be going left with this, but I want y'all to Google Hassan Campbell on American Most Wanted. It's going to come up. Raphael. Raphael J. Campbell. Google Hassan Campbell on American Most Wanted. It's going to come up. Raphael J. Campbell, 25 years old. He was one of the last outstanding suspects in connection with the killing of a Charles C.J. Davis, 25 years old. Of Broccoli and North Oakland. You heard what I said, right? Read that story, and it's gonna be similar to the shit he be talking about. So I want you gotta I want y'all to look that up. Look up Hassan Campbell on American Most Wanted. He says sitting next to Sarnetta. I don't repeat myself. I need y'all to understand and hear this. He says sitting next to Sarnetta in that playground that he was on American Most Wanted. But when I Google Hassan Campbell, it comes up. Raphael J. Campbell, 25 years old, was one of the suspects in the killing of three people. One of the guys' name was Charles C.J. Davis, 25 years old. Of Barkley and the uninvolved motorist pedestrian in North Oakland, Sacramento area, is going to come up. The same story you're going to look up and read is the same shit he start talking about. It's a coincidence. It sounds similar to me. I could be reaching, but it could, it's a coincidence. That it all sound like what he be preaching. Man, shit to the left. Which one? Pick one. Slugger, I love you, but I got ain't shit. He know he was a you a lord. Like Slugger, you a lord, you nigga. I got ain't shit. Sit up there making you punch niggas ass out. Slugger, he said this about you. Like nigga, who does that to people they love? Everybody see through that fake shit, nigga. Say my name one time. I did. And I'll pop up like you ain't never fucking seen before. You better. See, I got ain't got to say your name. You just said, I got you sugar ready to knock niggas out. The next time Hassan get in those streets, Sugar Ray going to put his hands on that boy. Because, see, Sugar Ray is loyal to I got. They not loyal to Hassan Campbell. So when they catch his ass in the street, it's going to be recorded. I'm gonna put them paws on that man. He gonna put that man on his ass. Cause he talked too much. I did. I did. The 
chivalry, you stand next to him again, you a faggot too. Damn it, damn it, boy. I ain't never forget. I some some things I don't forget. The fuck you talking about? Yeah, I said so I had a conversation about Ahmed talking about walking in the room with B.O.'s dick in his mouth, and I said I might. I'm now you see. This is why Sonetta asked him. Was B.O. Letting somebody blow him off. And Hassan Campbell tried to defend this shit. Now he up here drunk talking about it. See B.O. was running with that fuck shit too. See B.O. knew. The reason why he defending B.O. Because like he said. I'm going to catch that video with Doggy Diners. And he said, when he left his mama house, because he didn't want to get his ass whooped, he went to Bam house. Bam was like an outlet, but an outlet. And once the monster leave the bedroom, he could go see his heroes like B.O. B.O. knew because B.O. was doing this shit to him. Allegedly, B.O. was doing this shit with Hassan Campbell. That's why Hassan Campbell went on defensive end to defend his boy against I God and Sugar Ray. Try to fucking make B.O. look foul. Why you brought that up in that conversation up? So you trying to, you introduced that conversation to me because you was telling me that was going to be the reason why you snaked me. You, you should have never said that. Nigga, I said that because B.O. was being snaked by Ahmed. I never believed it, but the truth of the matter is I'm the only one that put Bam to shit out of everybody. Nigga, you think I can't fucking hear? I hear. No, you ain't put Bam to shame. It was B Stinger. It was B Stinger. I don't know where the hell he get that name from. Why that why was they calling the B Stinger? It was B Stinger. AKA Ronald Savage. AKA B Stinger. That put him to shame. You and he came out after because you knew that money tread, that money train stopped. Once B Stinger put Bam on blast. And you was kicked off, or like you said, you was put into Facebook prison. You went on Star Show, Star taught you how to get on YouTube, and you started dragging Bam through the mud. It all started from B Stinger to Star to YouTube. Come on, bro. I don't already read. I don't read this shit already. I read you real clear, bro. I know your character because I know I know dudes just like you, bro. I'll kill you, niggas. I'm not playing with none of you, niggas. You hear? None of you, niggas. She in the back. Lily in the background trying to tell him to shut the fuck up. Excuse my language, YouTube. She trying to tell him to shut up. Eat your breakfast. But he got that glass in his hand. He on a roll right now. So, Lily, let him talk. Let this man talk. He on a roll right now. And I ain't gonna cry no more. Before I cry the next time, I bet, I bet you I'll push one of you niggas shit back. If I wake up on the wrong side of the bed, as a matter of fact, Now you, <laughs> y'all hear that, right? Lily had to take a deep breath because she know he full of shit. She had to take a deep breath. She just threw his conversation right off. All that old tough guy shit. Look how he looking to the left. He looking at Lily like he want to get up and smack her, but he can't put his hands on her because she going to say, how she be pinning him down. I can imagine how she be pinning this little nigga down in the house and he be screaming, Uncle. And got the kids in the background listening. You heard the kids in the background? Yeah. Got the kids listening to this shit, man. And it's the, the look on his face. He don't even want to see that damn vagina. Because <laughs> that ain't what he want. 
You know the kids in that house ain't his. Come on, man. We know. She's holding me. There you go. So all I need to hear. He thinks Black Lives Matter. See, he, see that right there let y'all know. That big campaign he running saying all lives matter. And if Black Lives Matter, he really do care about Black Lives Matter. See, that's just the bullshit he be pulling on y'all. Y'all heard it. Let me play this shit back because I don't really think y'all really paying this no mind. That's for the text. I will knock them if they go out there for that because our children matter when we killing our children. So I still think Black Lives Matter for going out there for that young boy. That was a step. I don't care if they get money. You heard what he said? He still thinks Black Lives Matter. For him to say that, he's been playing his subscribers to the fullest. See, he wants y'all to believe that Malika, Tamika, my son, George Floyd, and everybody else he wants y'all to believe that that's some made up shit. He just said he thanked Black Lives Matter. He thanks them for doing their job. See, when he drunk, he tells the truth. He telling the truth right now. He thanks Black Lives Matter. Y'all heard this shit? This all his subscribers. Thinking that he don't care. He do care. He care about Black Lives Matter. He just said it. He thanks them for doing their job. I want them to go out there and fight for our children. See? <laughs> you right. I want them to go out there and fight See, for our children. See, agree with him. She I'm agree like with him. I am and take the phone. I want them to See, I got to see what it is. I got it blowing up on his face. See, a lot of y'all watches this man from a distance. You have to look in this man's eyes. You have to read the structure of his face, the way he looks to the right, because he, he crossed out his hell though. But when he go, when his eyes go left and go right, it tells on him. You have to watch this shit. That's why I got a close up on his face, so y'all can actually read him. Other than sitting back there, walking back and forth, talking about, oh, Hassan came with a leader. He the truth. No, he's full of shit. Grown ass female. Don't encourage nobody to have domestic violence in the house. Because I'll fuck her up. You will not fuck me. I'll beat your fucking ass. See him up. I'll right fuck now. you up. I'm telling you, I will beat him up. Beat him Listen. up. Stand strong. Like, go sit down. I showed you that already. Listen. I already pinned you down and all that. Like, I'll shut fuck her up. You heard what she said, right? She said, I pinned you down and all that. He be getting his ass whooped at home. You heard what she said? See, he don't want the sex. He wants the aggression. He like aggressive women. 
So he don't want the sex from Lili. He want the tussling, the turning, the tossing. He want to get pinned down. <laughs> hey, didn't they say Tafi do karate? This man want to get, he like to get pinned down. So tell me, Lili is doing the bambata on his ass? Let me find out Lily doing the bambata, pinning his ass to the ground while he's screaming, Uncle. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm telling you I will beat him up. He didn't understand strong. Like, go sit down. I showed you that already. I already pinned you down and all that. Like, oh, shut the fuck up. up. Shut up. And then he went while I was trying to make him breakfast to get him together and got on the live. Like, why did you do that? I do not know. But whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because the less of less of evil, because the reality of it is whatever. I no, already sent your ass I'm down. A little bit so Let you know you need to calm I'm down or so relax. You hear this black woman in the background? You hear how she talking over him? You hear how she covering him? This is y'all leader. You see the look on his face? He looking down because he he didn't really, he don't really have anything to say to her. When they be home arguing, oh she be topping his ass off. Oh, she be finishing him. Like she said, she be pinning him down. So when she pin him down, he probably be sitting there like, get, get off me. He be kicking and swinging his arms like a turtle, like he on his shell. He can't get up. See, he met his match at home. See, when he can't handle like a lot of men, not all, but some men, when they can't handle their woman at home, they go into the streets to act out. They the biggest, illest killers in the Bronx. But when they go home, like she said, you can't stand strong. You weak. She got this, he got this woman destroying his manhood on his own life. She killing him on his own life. And he ain't got shit to say, but try to talk louder and she get louder. Nori said, relax. I'm sober now, right? I'm so drunk, but I'm sober. But if I don't let out of this house in that point in state, I'd have been fucked up. My mind, I'm not killing myself, but I got suicidal thoughts. Like I'm commissar, I'm kamikaze. Sometimes I just want to shoot a thousand niggas. I do, I do. Sometimes I want to shoot some of you niggas. That word a thousand that word a thousand niggas. He used it a lot. He said Bambada molested a thousand young boys he said Bronx River have a thousand illest killers in the Bronx he said he ran up in the housing projects and backed them down a thousand this man running a thousand this numbers is off this numbers are way off but he loved that word a thousand read between the lines man Telling you who you are. Cause y'all, you not of us. Sometimes I just want to 